tradition yeah. you know it's um, it's like tradition it's not uh, there's no God in it yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean God is God is not not in a religion not in Muslim not in Catholic not in Buddhist yeah. Capish? Capish, yeah. there's, there's always, there's always uh, let's say hidden every religion so inside it's a different You know, once upon a time, I asked God, I said, where are you? Where is the truth? Where is the right way? in a Turkish city of Antalya where Apostle Paul also was here yes 2000 years ago 2000 years ago uh, Ramzan is a pastor of a, a Protestant church yes Protestant and Turkish church Turkish church and um, I think it's the only Turkish Christian church in this town there is a couple of other ones too but they are more like small churches turkish churches yes, yeah? turkish churches. okay we've, we've just been talking a moment ago about the, the fact that everyone thinks that christianity started from maybe europe but it actually started from this area the area of turkey yes yes when we look at the bible actually we see that apostle paul and barnabas yeah. they started a uh, lot of churches in Turkey 2000 years ago. Actually, when you look at the history, you see that Christianity spread and mm -hmm. grow from the ancient land of Turkey. Yes. And that's the truth. You know, yes. But in Turkey, many Turkish people, they don't know the history. Okay. They don't know this uh, information. And they think that Christianity is a more like a Western religion. Okay. And in Turkey, there is this mindset that, you know, if you are a Turk, mm -hmm. you're supposed to be Muslim, you okay. know. And if you're a, a Western person, European person, mm -hmm. you're supposed to be a Christian. Because they look at the Christianity kind of like the Western religion, yes. you know. But actually, that's not the truth. 
and that's why you know yes. in Turkey if you come mm -hmm. and visit as a tourist mm -hmm. you know from Europe mm -hmm. they will accept you as a Christian okay. and they will show you great hospitality and respect mm -hmm. to you even that they know that you're a Christian you know mm -hmm. because that's who you're supposed to be mm -hmm. you know but if you are Turk and coming from Islamic background to Christ you Chicago. know and if you're a Christian from Islamic background mm -hmm. you know then you're a traitor you know okay. and you betray your country you betray your culture and you are brainwashed uh, and you reject your heritage okay. and the culture then they treat you as a traitor, you know, that okay. they don't respect you, that you are a Christian. Okay, and what are the main misconceptions they have, Turkish people have about Christians? You said that they think yeah. that they drink alcohol, they... There is a lot, and like there is theological, cultural and historical misinformation. For example, the theological misinformation is they think that, you know, Bible has been changed, okay. you know, and it's not trustworthy anymore, mm -hmm. and uh, and also uh, they think that Christians believe in three gods, you okay. know, and they can't understand the concept of Trinity, you know, right. and they think that a uh, Christian uh, has to go to priest to repent, you know, their uh, sin. Okay. And there is a lot of misinformation and also they think that it's okay mm -hmm. to sleep with anyone you want, you know, because they are, most of them, they are learning the Christianity from the Islamic society, which in Islamic society and the TV, many Islamic leaders or nationalist leaders, mm -hmm. they spoke up against Christians. Okay. They spoke, uh, they don't uh, tell the truth about the Christianity, what we believe. Yeah and they represent really bad about us you know and then also they see a lot of tourists coming yes. from europe and they have like you know they sleep with many people and they have cross on their neck and then they okay. do a lot of crazy okay. you know celebration and drugs and stuff like that and then mm -hmm. And also, they look at the movies and they see all these like Hollywood movies that yes. people has cross on their neck and then they, you know, uh, make porn and things like that, you know. And that's why they are learning the Christianity okay. from those kind of things. Yes. And those are not the uh, right resources to learn, of you course. know. And then they think that Christianity is uh, immoral and bad culture you know and that's why they don't believe and they Very reject the Christians mm. and a lot of misinformation okay. and the government is using this information right to, to not the government I, I would not say the government but the uh, people that who has power okay. on uh, you know society they go up to the TV mm -hmm. and some programs that they tell all these lies to people about okay. Christians okay. but those are not the truth that we believe okay. and that's why actually like when people come and visit our church yes. sometimes people come with different expectation you know and then when they come to the church and then when they start talking with us and mm -hmm. you know when they start getting to or getting to know us then their ideas change okay. and then most of the people wow you believe like this oh you are like this you know okay and interesting and um, <coughs> now what's the population of Turkey and uh, what's the population of Christians in Turkey. Now the population of Turkey is 85 million, 99% of the population are Muslim okay. and uh, the Turkish Christians we are about 7 to 8,000 Turkish okay. Christians so in Turkey. 80 million? 85 million. 85 million and only 7 to 8,000 Christians. That's yeah. amazing. 
it's shocking. Yeah, but you know the Turkish church actually this is better because when you look at the history, mm -hmm. 50 years ago there was no Turkish Christians, there was okay. no Turkish churches in okay. Turkey. But some people came to Christ at that time okay. and faithfully they shared their life and okay. faith with others. And then some people became a Christian and then Turkish church started, you know. And yeah. now uh, there's seven or eight thousand Turkish believers in yeah. the whole country. It's better than 50 years ago and I believe that, you know, it's kind of like, uh, same like the Bible. You know, when yeah. you look at the biblical time, uh, when Paul and Barnaba, you know, when they came to this land, mm. there was nothing at that time. Yes. And then they shared the gospel. People came to Christ. They yes. started churches. Yes. And then before the Roman Empire accepted Christianity, the churches in this land, it was like small house churches, you sure. know, like what we have now. Sure. But then look what God did 2,000 years ago, and He can do it once again now. Yes, that's great. Now, um, Ramzan, tell me about persecution. You said that you, you knew some people that were actually killed for their faith. Like, Turkey is a democratic and secular country. According to law, we have freedom to believe what we want to believe. Mm -hmm. And also, we have freedom to share our faith with others on the paper, you know. Mm -hmm. But those rights are not really supported by uh, society very much, mm -hmm. because there's a lot of people that they don't like, mm -hmm. uh, Christians or the churches. And... Uh, like we are, according to law, we have freedom to go out and do open evangelism, you know. But when you do that, you will face some difficulties that they will stop you. And then, uh, like if you compare to Turkey with Europe, mm -hmm. you know, we are so short, you know, for our democracy, you know. But if you compare Turkey to other Middle Eastern countries, Afghanistan, mm -hmm. Iran, you know, we have so much freedom as a Christian here, you okay. know. We can still go and share the gospel with people, you yes. know. And, yes, like, we have some difficulties. We don't, mm -hmm. uh, like, uh, for a common persecution that most of the Christian face in Turkey, when they come to believe Jesus, most of them, they've been rejected by their own family. Okay. You know, and because family look at them as a traitor, you know, okay. and uh, also Turkish culture is more like an honor and shame culture. And when you became a Christian, you became actually you bring actually shame on your family, and okay. that's why they reject you. You know, and it did not happen to me. My all my relatives and friends they rejected me after okay. I became a Christian, but I still have a relationship with my uh, mom and sisters they mm -hmm. love me and i love them we have a good relationship they didn't come but surprised? no but okay. most of the people in my church they've been rejected even by their own family you know mm -hmm. after they come to christ and then you might lose your job you know yes. and it's really hard to find a job as a christian and sometimes you know, not all the time, but sometimes mm -hmm. the country changed, something changed in the country. Mm -hmm. And in, in those chaos time, mm -hmm. you know, like there is a lot of outside group, religious or the nationalist mm -hmm. group, that mm -hmm. sometimes they take advantage of the situation and they attack okay. the churches and the Christians. In the uh, past, we lost some of our brothers and sisters, okay. uh, you know, uh, got killed because of they were a Christian, you know. But it's they don't. Shocking. Yeah, but they don't kill us every day. You know, we we have, you know, uh, still in a good shape when you compare Turkey to other Middle Eastern countries. And you personally had some threats as well. Yeah, in the past, like uh, lots of people threatening me many times, and also a uh, couple times I had a life threatening situation and. One of the person in 2008, uh, he came to our Christmas service mm -hmm. to assassinate me, you know, and but the police catch him okay. and they put him in the jail because okay. uh, every service that we have 
in our church we have the police protection. Okay. And because the police doesn't so want every any, service here. Yes. You have police outside. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, because they are trying to protect the Christians. Because if something happened to Christians, it might affect the uh, uh, Turkey reputation mm -hmm. for tourism and mm -hmm. other things. Mm -hmm. And that's why they protect us. Okay. Know. Yeah, okay. And how did you come to Christ? What happened? I grew up in a Muslim family yeah. and I believed in Islam many years, but I did not search Islam about, uh, by myself. I did not read the Quran or I did not, uh, you know, research by myself. Yes. I just did believe what people taught me about my faith, yes. you know. And I believed in Islam like that. I was a very mm -hmm. devoted Muslim. And then uh, one day, end of my school, I, mm -hmm. I had friends that they were deist and atheist. Mm -hmm. And then I, when I spent time with them, they told mm -hmm. me that there is a lot of contradiction in the Quran. There's a lot of wrong things about Islam. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then what they told me about Islam, it brought a lot of questions and doubt okay. to me. And uh, I thought that if I read the Quran, mm -hmm. the Quran will give answers to all my questions and doubt. Okay. And, but after I read the Quran, the opposite happened. Uh, and I had more questions and more doubt. Mm -hmm. And I asked those questions to mm -hmm. My spiritual leaders, they gave me answers, but those answers did not satisfy me. Okay. And then uh, I read different books about Islam, that it's, it was criticizing Islam. And then little by little, I lost my faith in Islam and I became a deist like my friends. You know, mm -hmm. During that time, my lifestyle changed a lot. I had a very simple life. Mm -hmm. And then I was working at one company and when I was working there I met a guy that we became a very good friends each other. Mm -hmm. One day he told me that he's a Christian and he was a Turkish guy and became a Christian later, you know. And he told me that he's a Christian. When he said that, that was the first time I met Christians, you know. Okay. And we started to talk about religion and he told me I did not like it actually, his attitude. He told me that Christianity is right, all the other religions are wrong, you know. And then I kind of got angry to him and I wanted to uh, show him that Christianity is wrong too. And I started telling him all these like things that I learned from my society about Christianity. And then he told me, no, we don't believe like that. Look, this is what the Bible says. No, we don't believe like that. This is what the Bible says. And then I thought, you know, I, I, I hate like losing the conversation you know? <laughs> and then I thought okay if I study the Bible you know maybe I can show him that his faith is wrong too yeah. you know that's why I got Bible from him yeah. and then I started read the Bible and we talk a lot yeah. and then one day he invited me to the church mm. I told him okay I can come but when I said that my goal wasn't searching about Christianity or learning about Jesus. I thought that if I go to church, maybe I can meet with some girls, you know, because I was very young and my brain was working only for that reason. And and also we learn from society that, you know, Christian girls are easy, you know, and that's why I went to church. <laughs> but when I went to church, I thought that we were going to go to some church building but mm -hmm. he took me to the some house or some people house mm -hmm. because at that time they were they were a house church and when I went into the house and I saw like 10 15 people mm -hmm. and they were all like families there was no girls mm -hmm. like my age you know and then I thought like oh well, I cannot reach out my goal here you know but I stayed and I really liked that their relationship with each other, how they worship God, mm -hmm. it was very different and unusual. It touched my heart, but I did not believe. And then I went to church uh, following weeks again, and then another weeks again, and then another weeks again. I went to church basically two and a half years without believing Jesus Christ, but every wow. time when I went to <laughs> church, I learned something about Christianity, I learned some, uh, something about Jesus, you know, 
Okay. But nothing worked in my heart until I went to the military. Okay. And when I went, if you're a Turk, you have to go to military. And okay. when I went to military, I had a really big depression. Okay. And I was so like feeling bad and I didn't know what to do. Mm. And I had a lot of crazy thoughts one night when I had a night duty. And I started to remember a lot of verses from the Bible, you know, that I learned from the church two and a half years, you know. And then first time in my life that night, I felt that God's presence near to me. I felt like Jesus was talking to me with those verses. And I understood that that was God. And I just fell down and I opened my heart and I gave my life to Jesus. And I accepted him my Lord and Savior, you know, and after that my life started to change, my goals started to change, you yes. know, and then I came to the church and I got baptized and then I was working for one company and but also doing some volunteer work for the church. I really liked it as I did those volunteer work and then I thought God is calling me to do something in ministry, yeah. you know? And then I share my desire to my spiritual leader in the church, and then they started training me. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah, I became a pastor in this church in 2001. Mm -hmm. And since then, I am pastoring this church. Our church is a kind of like Turkish church. Yeah. We are worshipped in Turkish mm -hmm. and most of the people in my church, they are coming to uh, Christ yeah. and Islamic background, mm -hmm. like me, mm -hmm. yeah. Amazing. Thank you so much for this and I just wanted to have this conversation just to share with everyone in Poland uh, a little bit. On, on the Turkish church and on the situation here. So thank you for that short interview. You're welcome. Gökte olduğu gibi yeryüzünde de senin istediğin olsun. Bugün bize gündelik ekmeğimizi ver. Bize karşı suç işleyenleri bağışladığımız gibi sen de bizim suçlarımızı bağışla. Ayartılmamıza izin verme. Kötü olandan bizi kurtar. Çünkü egemenlik, güç ve yücelik sonsuzlara dek senindir. Amin. Arkama bakmadan 
is there in 